Vroom, vroom. Yes, cuz uh, everyone, and welcome back to another Fallout 76 build video. Today, I'm going to be building for you this abomination of speed, this wagon of woe, this... I don't know what it actually is, it's like a weird mix of a chariot and a rideable lawnmower, but in true TV show creative fashion, I'm going to show you the parts you need for it. Starting off with a wheelchair, yes, a wheelchair, then a futon, and then you're going to want to add in a dash of the rideable shop vac, along with two generators, each one being a bit different for a nice bit of style, the clock, which you can just about see, a nuka shine keg, the uh, two steins, the Scorch Beast heart thingy, and then in true Lord of the Rings fashion, with a bit of force perspective, the incense burner. Now, this was probably the best shot in this entire video, and I'm so proud of it. It's just a bit of forced perspective, but it looks awesome. Anywho, the build itself is pretty simple, apart from the chair, which was the only reason that there is two chairs. Uh, I'll get into that. So, we start with the main parts, which I've got all blocked out, and I'll stick all under the ground so I can just reach them real easy. But, we start with the cockpit, or the driver's seat, or... No, I'm going with cockpit. So, the cockpit itself is a futon merged into a wheelchair. Now, the reason the wheelchair is there is for back wheels. Uh, I was originally just going to do it as the shop vac and merge a seat onto the shop vac, which looked okay but all the seats have stuff that sticks out at the bottom so it was kind of trying to figure a way to make it look like that wasn't happening and you were just riding the shop vac so i thought hey do you know what i'll merge some stuff together and make it look like we've got some wheels at the back hence the wagon of woe um which is not what i'm calling it but the wagon of woe it looks like it's pulling the wheelchair which is what i find funny so once that's merged together and this is all done on fallout worlds making it a whole lot easier this would have taken like double the amount of time uh, but, but once that is done we're basically working on the engine so we start with the vault generator and then we merge in the fuel tank in air quotes which is of course the purifier and then we put the other generator inside that to make it look like there's a bit of a two different engine thing the vault one is only there for its cool little lights and gizmos uh, along with things like the the heart in the jar it's just for a bit of extra aesthetic and then we use two of the vault 76 beer steins to represent and i want to say axles now i'm not i, I want to be an engineer right and saying it might be an axle it might not be an axle proves how devastating it would be if i was an actual engineer um but basically the bit that makes the wheel go left and right let's put it that way and then everything else is basically a bit of set dressing which i had a lot of fun with this build it, it, it all, all in all 12 minutes um and the hood ornament is of is the other beer stein, the assault run beer stein. <laughs> but I had a lot of fun with this. This was a, a, a fun little thing, and it was kind of um, brought on by two people. Uh, if you probably remember a very long time ago, Tonic did a live action video of him riding a lawnmower with his helmet on. And there's a guy called Radical Rooks, or Rad Rooks, or whatever he's called on Twitter, who was kind of the inspiration behind this, because he's done some pretty awesome stuff as well. But there we go. The Wagon of War. It stuck with me. The Wagon of War. I hope you've enjoyed my incredibly stupid build. You guys know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe. And until the next time, stay awesome. Beep, beep.